So yeah. I think the, the thing that, that, that really fascinates me in terms of where we're going with this podcast is you've mirrored a lot of my own strategy for running your business and you've been completely organic mm -hmm. so far. There's no paid media, there's no SEOs, none of that sort of things. So walk us through, if you would, like some of the key elements of how you've gotten out there and attracted the clients that you have so far and what you're going to, what, what's next on your strategy for your marketing. Yeah. So as I mentioned, I've got most of them initially from LinkedIn. So my first, I think, let me just plan it out. So I started about a year ago, July of 2023. I think I went about say five months of trying to do cold email. I was working off of a gmail.com. Nothing was getting delivered and I was doing every single email personalized. I think it did about 400 emails over five months, very inefficient, sending almost no volume out. And it was just, I was thinking, oh, it's got to work eventually, but I realized it wasn't. So I got on LinkedIn, I think January 1st this year, I realized I'm going to post every day. I started to go serious about business more and I've started to post on LinkedIn. I got my first client in February of this year through LinkedIn. We were just talking back and forth and he said, you know what, we're both done on what we're going to do in AI automation. Let's just go for it. He just paid me a hundred quid and we just said, let's just do something. And we just got started. So that's the first client I got organically. And then working from there, it's been that first client was a lead general agency. So he's been doing cold emails for me, which kind of works hand in hand, gets me some outbound and I do automations for him. And then, so obviously I get, I've got some clients from that cold email and then LinkedIn as well has been really good for getting clients because I just reach out to people, get some referrals. I've got like three clients through referrals at this point, and it's just reaching out to people. And the best part is the trust. So say you reach out over the phone, you've got to build the trust on the phone. You reach out through email. You've got to build the trust on the email. If someone refers you, which I found out pretty, pretty quickly, which is, I think, very valuable to learn this quickly is just, if someone refers you, that whole trust is already there. So now that they, they already believe that you can solve the problem, all you've got to do is actually solve it, which is the easy part. The hard part's making the sale. So referrals are very valuable for me, business-wise getting clients and things like this will only make it better because people like Paul, pretty reputable. They've got big audiences on LinkedIn and he's got a lot of connections as well. They'll see me jumping on a call with people like this and they'll think, oh, he must be serious about his business. So getting the trust there, getting the reputation there is very valuable in me getting clients. I think who was it? Warren Buffett said it takes a lifetime to build a reputation. So I think building this reputation, definitely going to benefit me. And that's the main way I get clients, just LinkedIn, social trust, that core area. And I think there's a lot of people out there that hear that story a lot of the time from other people and, and really doubt it because they see so many people who fall by the wayside who don't manage to achieve that and, and don't quite pull it off or they try for months yeah. and months and don't see any fruit from it. I think it's just fascinating to see somebody who's completely fresh into the business world to be able to take that and run with it and you've not got in my eyes i think a lot of people have bad habits and bad strategies and a bad way of thinking about business because they've come at it too late or they've learned the wrong things from the wrong people yeah. and for me this is just vindication and proof that what i've said from the beginning is my whole business is set up to help people create trust at scale through video, right? And it's about the video turning your personal passions, your motivations, your experience, your problems you solve, your business, and talking about it from a human perspective. Being able to look people in the eyes and say, this is me, yeah. this is who I am, this is what I represent and why I want to do it. And to see mm -hmm. somebody take that to the, to almost to the next level like you, you've got no preconceptions you've just gone out there and heard the advice and you put it into practice and you've made a success of it it proves that it is a valid marketing strategy if yeah. you're genuine with it you've got to mm -hmm. if you're kidding yourself that this is a genuine approach but actually it's all about the money it's not going to work because it will yeah, shine it's through it's got to be genuine yeah. I think that's definitely come in. I think with my first client, as I mentioned, it was just a hundred quid. I realized I was still enjoying it for seven months. I'd got no money in and I was, some people would think, oh, I, I sack it off. It's not worth it. But I was just, I was enjoying it because I'm sending out emails. I'm learning more about emails. I'm doing a little bit of work on the back end, building some projects out, even though the word sell it. And I'm just learning and learning. And I thought it's the experience is the best part. Obviously money comes as a byproduct and money's important, obviously, but I think 
the best part is getting this represent. So I know a lot more about sales than some other people my age, because I've been sending messages on LinkedIn for six, seven months. I've been sending emails. I've been jumping on sales calls and getting the experiences is really exciting and just learning bit by bit to get better and better each time is definitely a huge thing that I like to do and just build and trust obviously and learn the different strategies. So you mentioned in video a lot, and then there's also a cold email outbound phone and I've tried all of them and it's just learning what works, learning what doesn't. And the continuous journey is the most exciting part, even if you're not making money comes as a byproduct and that's genuineness inside it's, I want to get more experience. I want to become better. It's not all about the money, which I think makes it a lot easier because when times get hard and you're not making the sales, you're thinking some people might just sack it off and get disheartened over the money not coming in. But I just keep going because I value the experience. So to move on then to the questions I ask every guest, and I'm very interested to hear your thoughts on these two questions. So yeah. 